Hi my peeps, what's up Wagwan? Welcome back to your girl Tiona in the house. Yeah, Jamaican <laughs> and Jamaican love them steam fish. I'm gonna steam two big big fish right here, guys. Look at them. They are so big. They're butterfish. I don't know fish. My husband gave me them and they're butterfish. Alright. I have them in the freezer. They're so big. Like two pounds each, maybe two more, two plus pounds, and it's maybe two pounds. And guys. We have all sorts of seasoning and vegetable, garlic, onion, tomato, lots of bell peppers, one carrot, scallion. And guys, this is some um, dried, just some garlic powder and some onion powder. And you know me good, good coconut oil over there, so Rasta Kibble natural coconut oil, Jamaican style. I'm going to add a few Maggi stocks, um, vegetable stock in this. And you know, if you're doing fish, you have to have your fish seasoning can't do it without some black pepper I have my blended seasoning thyme scallion garlic onion pimento and all of that marinate and soak and blend up um, preserve it some vinegar and you know me have my Jamaican bami right here I'm gonna cut them in smaller pieces after and right here I have some frozen pepper <laughs> my um, Indian girlfriend gave me this hot um, pepper I put them in the freezer I'm gonna add one to it as well I'm not gonna put too much because I want my daughter to have some I'm gonna cut up this and then I'm gonna come back and season the fish and we're gonna get cooking I'm just gonna cut these pepper you can cut them in whatever style doesn't matter nothing fancy I'm only using half of that tomato and I'm gonna cut my carrot And that's it guys if you have some fresh thyme you can add some in here but I have thyme in my blended season already so let's get on to this and I have one pepper right here and now guys I'm gonna season this bad boy you have to wash them in lime or you can use some vinegar and wash them and clean them up all right now we're gonna add our Jamaican fish seasoning about this not too much so you wanna go ahead and sprinkle it, sprinkle a little bit inside. And guys, I'm gonna put two cuts in it. Two big cuts. So we can put some seasoning down in that bad boy. And you just want to season it put a little bit you can put it on a paper towel I put it on the paper towel just to you know if it have any excess water that will dry it out put a little bit up in the head so it can soak and that's it guys you don't need too much seasoning on it 
this is the big pot or frying pan I'm going to cook in and I'm going to add some coconut oil. Now I'm going to transfer my fish to big bad boy. Let's set them like this. Let's set one upside down so they can hold nice. Yes. Now guys, I have my blended season. Oh, oh, smells so good. Look at that guys. Now I'm going to take some. Look at that pimento grain in it guys. Can you see that? I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on the inside and then I'm gonna rub up some on the outside that's it one tablespoon is good enough it's really strong and you want to rub it up on both sides all right guys the next step I'm gonna grab a few pieces of onions stuff it in no 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 stuff that's too fancy we're gonna tough it up in there tough it up in it all right <laughs> few pieces of garlic as well another piece few pieces of scallion mm. guys it's heaven here Go on in let it stay all right guys that's it right there I'm just gonna scoot everything over scoot it on in there this is the easiest way possible and you want to move it on over I'm gonna add two Maggi stocks. Break it apart and you wanna spread it on in. This add a little bit of salt to it and a little bit more seasoning. And now I'm gonna set my pepper in it. I have some water. This is about a little less than half bottle, about a cup. So I'm gonna add a cup of water to that. That's it guys. Now for the final step, I'm gonna add some black pepper. You can put it on the fire and you can go along and season it as well. Either or guys, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. Once you cook and it tastes good, and this is some onion um, powder, just a little bit of extra taste. Some garlic powder. And that's it, nothing more. Guys, if you don't have any Maggi stocks, all right, and you want a little bit of taste to it, and you don't even have any fish seasoning, you can put some um, gray scop soup in it, all right? Give it some spice and flavor it up. Now we're gonna put it on the stove. And I'll show you. I'm gonna cover it and then I'm gonna let it come to a boil, like it's gonna get simmer. All right, so cover this bad boy there. Oh, it smells so good. Also, guys, if you have some coconut milk, you can put it in it. All right, but I'm just gonna leave it like that. We're on to the next step. I have my bami right here, Jamaican style bami. There are three of them in the package. I keep them in the freezer. Oops, sorry. Ooh. I'm gonna cut them in four. Now you can go ahead and you can add more water and you can set your bummy on top. But what I'm gonna do, I have some water here and my bummies are right here. I'm just gonna let, wet them and then I'm going to set them on top, just like that. Amir, this is steamed fish and bami. Have you ever tried? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's just water. Oh, no, just to make them soft a little bit because they're tough. And then it's gonna steam. <laughs> Make a little more room. And that's the last one, guys. After there will be more water in this, guys, because this vegetable and the fish is gonna spring water. So don't worry about it now. Just cover it and let it steam. All right. All right, my peeps. Let's take a look at it. Oh yes. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take the juice and just sprinkle it all over my bammies. And that's it guys. Can you see the goodness? I'm gonna leave it now for about 15 minutes to steam and then I'll come back. All right my peeps, it's all done. It's simmer and it's done. There it is, guys. All done. My fish, they're moving, so it's not stick to the bottom. All right, so I'm going to turn my stove off. All right, my peeps, look at this. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord, yes. Look at it, guys. My Jamaican steam fish and bami. I put two little piece of um, lime slices for decoration. You can add whatever you want to it, all right? You can put some fried plantain, bami them soak and nice, take up all the gravy. Mm -mm. Yes, yes guys. All right, I have some parsley. I'm just gonna garnish a little bit. That's my goodness right there, look at it. Oh my God, mm. mouth watering. My son's gonna dive in it right now. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. Guys, if you don't have any bami, you can throw two crackers in the two Jamaican tough crackers, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna serve up some June plum juice with some ginger, if we can open this bottle. Voila. Final result. Look at that. Mm -mm. My Jamaican June plum juice with some ginger in it. Guys, yes, yes, yes. I will make this video separate sometime for you. All right, quick and easy. But look at it, guys. Wow. All natural, all healthy. Jamaican June plum juice with some ginger. And a pinch of lime just a squeeze of lime or lemon juice and guys man 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 I'm telling you guys I'm telling you please remember to love upon me and I love upon you like and subscribe to my channel one love and be blessed and put God first Mwah. God is good all the time all the time God is good <laughs>